Hey guys! Alright, let's get straight to the point. Um, today we are going to talk about the ethics propellers. I just received them uh, this week, I purchased them yesterday and um, I am finally able to try them this weekend. The weather was awful and I hope it's not going to come back. It turned out great for a couple of hours so I decided to um, came outside and uh, at this park to try these uh, new propellers. If you don't know them, they are called the FX Watermelon S3 by HQ Props. It's the first time I was actually uh, seeing them in real life yesterday. Uh, we did a little live with Eric at my work as well to talk about them and other FX products. It was super nice to finally be able to see the latest FX product in real life, including this prop. So um, yeah, this is what we are going to talk about today. We have uh, another set on my motors, new motors, because I had to change my old ones. Um, they were seven months old. They've been through a lot, including a new bando <laughs> that I discovered recently. So of course they were a bit tired and sad. So I just changed them this morning when the weather was like crazy. Just have two sets. Uh, and just in case I want to fly a bit more and I like destroy them, uh, I have my usual 4.5 V1S by HQ Props as well. Basically, I've been flying the 5 by 4.5 since um, last year, I think it was December, so almost a year. And I was like super happy with them. I really liked the 4.3 before, but when I tried this once, after having tried the 4.8, um, to me, it was it was exactly the prop I was after because previously from HQ I was trying dial props, the 5045 or 5046, and um, they were good for me as well. After some bad experience with dial props, um, I finally went to the 4.5. So I'm actually really excited about the S3. Um, I have no idea how they're gonna fly. It's the first time I'm trying them here. I have some expectations, and I hope uh, they're gonna be met. If not, that's all right. My predictions for these props um, on the spec side. Um, oh yeah, actually, I didn't. I didn't tell you the size of them or anything like that. So um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna stop the video and tell you some information right now on the screen. But yeah, what am I expecting from these props? There are a few things I don't really like about the 4.5. Um, I find them prone to getting jello, but I'm not really. Uh, careful with my props like if I crash and I bend one I don't bend it back or I don't notice so I don't know I wish these props could um, save my life a little bit more like they seem a bit if you if you look at them they seem a little bit less flexible in a sense if, if that makes sense to you some people said oh it's because the molds are new okay maybe I don't know but I uh, they look def definitely a little more uh, stiff and the shape is a little bit different so I'm expecting something a bit sharper in the in the flying as well. I know my pitch uh, with 4.5 is bigger, I'd say, like uh, it's higher than with this one. So basically, uh, I'll be back to like sort of 4.3, I believe. I hope it's um, gonna be at least as good as this one's. Um, and if not, well, I'm just curious to be honest. I just want to see uh, how it's gonna be. Um, you know, HQ props, uh, it can't be like the worst prop ever. So, yeah, I think uh, I've talked enough. <laughs> I really want to try them. It's been, uh, it's been a week that I want to try them. So, usual um, Chameleon by Armaton, a five inch uh, unibody rooster, if you want to call it like this. I prefer it this way anyway. Go Procession 5. Mr. Steel V2, brand new, so if I have Jello, I would probably cry. <laughs> nah, I think it should be fine, but yes. Watermelon props on. I like this configuration. Apparently you can do several different ones. I think I like the split one. And it's ugly with my red GoPro mount, but who cares? Let's get started, right? Alright guys, so what I... I'm actually planning to do is by doing this I'm actually testing it for you like if you were in a park with friends and they handle you a couple of props and they're like hey you should try this one uh, my pitch uh, is like I said is usually higher so I don't know how it's gonna go um, like recovery wise or this kind of thing let's go Like something strange is happening. 
I have an ESC that is not happy. Change of plan. Let's put the watermelon props on this one, which I know how it flies because I've been flying like quite a lot recently as well. And see how the, it goes with this one because that one here has a very, very weird behavior. This is full, like full test by Onigiri. This sucks. Let's try to do it. Yeah, this one is nice. Finally. All right, let's get to it then. So. So I'm sorry if my flying seems a little bit like floaty. Like I said, the slam alien is like super light. And uh, and I'm not used to that that weight as much as the rooster. Yep, so far I'm like super happy with how it is. As I predicted, let me try something. Yeah, so as I predicted, they are definitely a little bit, a little bit um, liking, liking what the 4.5 have, um, which is just because of you know the pitch. But they are definitely like very nice, very very nice on the on the Mr. Steel V2. It's super smooth. I have like no prop wash at all. Well, I don't think I do. So, yeah. And even though I feel like I have to be a bit, a little bit higher on the throttle, maybe also, you know, it's placebo effect. Have you seen right now? They were like super, super reactive. So definitely like super sharp, which I really, I, I really like actually. It's super nice. We're gonna see like how long, how long I can, uh, actually fly with them. I'm trying to, to give some full throttle stuff right now so we have a nice a nice overview of usually what my flight time is. Yeah super super cool. I'm super happy with it. So like I said I can't really fly when I talk. So I'm doing this battery talking like that and then I'll do I'll do another one um, not talking. Well, like I said, I can't talk when I fly. All right, so this is actually interesting. Uh, it's like when you you oops, this is still recording. When you when you try something, you seem to notice like everything about it, like uh, everything that could be strange or anything like that. So I like the way this one bent. I didn't do it on purpose, um, but um you know what it's good that they're actually a little bit damaged because this is what i wanted now i'm gonna be able to fly props clean props damaged like i usually do and we're gonna see the difference
guys. Um, I did that battery quite fast because I don't know if you can see, but I don't trust the weather right now. I think it's gonna be as bad as it was earlier and I have to hurry a little bit. Uh, what I think, uh, what I was expecting actually happened. Um, they are sharp. Uh, I tried proximity. Uh, it's true that they are sharp, like they're very uh, precise. I tried to fly like super close to the trees um, and it was actually, yeah, it was actually um, very, very precise and uh, very easy to control. The only thing is the pitch, I suppose. <laughs> so me, they are exactly like um, how I was, I was feeling with the 4.3 pitch wise. So not enough, um, not enough instant like power. So this is just my point of view because some people I know are flying 4.3 and well still I think was flying 4.3. It was doing like crazy stuff. I think uh, Snake is flying 4.3 and they still like do crazy shit. So, um, so I wish Ethics could do like a S5. If, if I don't know if 3 is now, maybe 3 for, is for tri blades, but something like a little bit more pitchy, please. Peachy? Peachy? Uh, more pitch. <laughs> and to me, that would be like a great props. Um, if you guys are flying 4.3, I would encourage you to uh, switch, at least try, because you might be as surprised as I was with the, well, everything, with the, 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 the precision and, and the sharpness and um, and yeah, they're, they're not noisy props. There's no prop wash. There is a little bit, but yeah, I'm actually like super surprised. As a conclusion, guys, yes, definitely nice props anyway. If you usually around, um, yeah, 4.5 or 4.3 pitch, uh, it's definitely not a big difference and you should be able to fly it uh, like you usually fly with improvements obviously so um thanks for watching i hope this was um helpful if you have questions put them in the comments below i'll be happy to answer you um and maybe do a follow-up video who knows maybe i'm gonna buy a few more and uh, see how it goes my battery is dying so thanks for watching guys i'll see you next time happy flying